Well, reactions continue to trail the tragic aftermath from the earlier elections as children of the Kogi State People's Democratic Party PDP women's leader Salome Abo had vowed that they would not rest until those who killed their mother are brought to justice. Salome Abo was set ablaze in her home after the outcome of the November 16 Kogi State governorship election. Their cry for justice coincided with a protest in Abuja at the weekend for women's rights activists. Correspondent Chris Ike reports. She was shot at and burnt down. Kogi election was war. The game of politics in Nigeria is slowly descending into the abyss. One particular incident has been forcibly imprinted in the minds of Nigerians out of the many that attended the November 16 elections in Kogi State. Political analysts have described the burning to death of Salome Abu as barbaric and are insisting that no amount of provocation should have led to that level of violence against an individual. Mrs. Abu's death has sparked off different protests demanding for justice, one of which took place in Abuja at the weekend. Women activists marched to the Ministry of Women Affairs carrying placards with different inscriptions. However, we believe it's important for us to brief the Honorable Minister about the first uh, big step that we have taken. The convener of this protest is delivering what she calls a manifesto. She's challenging the federal government to declare a state of emergency on violence against women in Nigeria. We need to declare a state of emergency, yes. and I'm sure the minister is in line with this already. Daughter of late Mrs. Abo is part of the protest. She paints a gory scenario of how her mother was murdered and she's demanding for justice. She was burnt to death. President Buhari, you issued a statement. There are faces to the names. Names were released. Those people should be caught. Their principals should be caught. Those that sponsored them should be caught. My mother's death should not be in vain. This is an embarrassment for the federal government, which deployed security agents to Kogi State to prevent the descent into violence. It is therefore understandable that the federal authorities are determined to fish out perpetrators of the act and bring to bear on them the full weight of the law. Conduct immediately is issued a press, uh, press statement condemning it. Mr. President is very, very worried and committed to this matter. President Muhammad Buhari has made it very clear that this is one incident that will not be swept under the carpet. The fact that a gory incident happened after the elections had been concluded clearly shows that it was callous and premeditated. Suspects have already been picked up who at the end of the day will be tried for first degree murder. Only time will tell. From the nation's capital, Grace Ike, S7 News.